Hey there, Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for September 5th through the 11th, 2022. Uh, holiday Monday here in Canada or in Ontario, and the kids start back to school on Tuesday, so it'll be an exciting week around here. Uh, I was drawn to the Doreen Virtue Angel Therapy Oracle card deck today. We haven't used this one in a really long time, but it is what I was very much drawn to today, so... Here we go, a little spiritual guidance to get you through your week. And of course, we're drawing <clears throat> three cards to see what is up energetically for this coming week. Oh, I feel like it's four. Sorry, we're drawing four cards today. That's just what I'm drawn to. Okay, card number one, <clears throat> crystals. The energy of crystal supports you and helps you with your present situation. Um, it's interesting because right from the first card, this feels like a week that's very much about energies. Um, and I'm going to draw the second card because I feel like there's something about the connection between the cards this week as well. Um, I know I normally read one at a time, but every once in a while the universe throws things in a different direction. Card number two, totally about energies this week. I can feel it. You're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. Archangel Michael is the, um is the Archangel of Protection. He has his blue flame sword and he can clear your energy. Um, I'm gonna read these two together because it very much feels that way. This really speaks to an awareness of your energy this week. And it also feels like it's important about clearing energy this week. And it's not necessarily one big clearing, although that will be very helpful. But it feels more about being continuously aware of the energies and kind of shifting and clearing things as they need to be. <clears throat> um, they're being really vague with me for the moment, so I'm sure there's more to come when I pull the rest of the cards. But they're saying that awareness of your energy field will really make the difference this week in how you show up and how you react to things. If you're not clearing away energies, if you're not dealing with energies that don't feel good, then you're gonna have a tendency more to just blow up or explode or um, come from a place that isn't where you wanna be coming from. Okay, they're saying card number three, so let's pull card number three. Crown chakra, pay attention to your ideas as they, as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers as I stumbled over that. <clears throat> and I'm going to pull the last one because again, it feels like the last two go together and the first two go together. And our last one is ascended masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. The message this week feels really kind of short and sweet in just that this week is about being plugged in and connected. And I conveniently just posted about unplugging. Unplugging allows us to get plugged back into ourselves and into the universe. There's something so therapeutic about just shutting off all the electronics for a day and just being present, sitting outside in nature, picking up a book, or just having a conversation with a loved one or a friend or even the dog. <laughs> This week, we are being asked to really step into that even more than what we've been doing. They're saying that we've been so consumed with the busyness, that we're so like pulled away from um, ourselves constantly, that our attention is constantly being taken elsewhere. And in that, we don't, um, things are broken up. Um, they're saying things don't feel consistent. Um, things don't feel like there's this flow sometimes because we're just being distracted and being distracted and being distracted. Also, those distractions are taking us away from the reality of life, a reality of our situation. As I said in my post, unplugging allows us to feel the feels. And being aware of those feelings, they're telling us something. It's teaching us something. It's allowing us to learn from the way that we feel. It doesn't mean we need to wallow in it, but we do need to acknowledge it because it's giving us a message. 
the universe is here and has your back this week and is ready with all the messages. I just feel this constant feeling of downloads this week of things being presented to you in all sorts of ways, shapes, and forms so that you are getting all the messages, signs, symbols that you need this week to get you through this week. It feels like there's a bit of this heaviness but the heaviness is more about the completion, that you're just wanting to release the weight versus it getting heavier. So just be aware of that. We're just, we're moving through this last little bit of the sledge. We're continuously lightening our load by releasing and letting things go. So just be aware of that. Be present in that, oh, oh, energy. Let yourself be aware of how you feel, what it is telling you, and how you want to feel. Really take the time to clean and clear this week and connect and you will find the things that you need to find. The answers are all there waiting for you and the ascended masters, the angels, your guides, your loved ones on the other side are rooting for you and here. So just ask for them, ask them for some help this week. Oh, oh, okay, that's it. Short and sweet today. I feel like they're just telling us to just hold on and to reach out for help. I think that's the biggest piece here. When we're plugged in and connected, we are there listening and all those things that we need to hear come barreling through for us. The awareness, seeing people for who they are, seeing situations for what they are. It's all right there. And again, that energy piece, if you're holding on to that heaviness and to the yuckiness, you're not going to be able to see that as clearly as if you continue to let it go. Maybe carry a crystal with you this week that helps you to do that, uh, whatever it is that you need. Uh, sending you much love this week. I feel like it's a week that we just need to reach out and love each other, to support each other and give thanks. So make sure you do that this week. I'm so grateful for you being here on my journey. Uh, if you're interested in diving deeper with me, check out the Divine Map um, subscription. It gives you access to tons of spiritual workshops, meditations, yoga classes, and October in the membership is Mentorship Month, and I'm doing some big mentorship pieces. So check it out. You can DM me for more information. Um, yeah, thank you for allowing me to be your spiritual teacher, to be your spiritual tour guide on this beautiful journey of life. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you from my heart and soul to yours. Have an amazing week.